Hello friends. In today's video, we are going to discuss about key filters DEX function. Today is Sunday. Sunday means it's a DEX Sunday. Many of you have requested us to make a video on filter functions in DEX. So today we have decided to make a video on key filters. This video is a bit long because we have to go through all the details for this function. So please stay tuned till the end of this video. So this is my Power BI file where we are going to uh, calculate the different measures using key filters and filters. And then we are going to see where we are going to need the key filters. Before proceeding further, I would like to show you this is my uh, data model where I am working currently. With the help of this model, I am going to depict you how to use it. Now going further, today we are going to talk about the key filters. So I would like to tell you, key filter is only necessary when you have arbitrarily shaped filters that you do not want to lose by applying additional filters on individual items. By this, I mean to say that whenever you have one or more filters on a column and you want to apply some more filters but you don't want to lose the previous filters, so in that case we are going to use key filters. So now let's start with, the, with our very first expressions where we are going to calculate total sales where the product color is black. So what I'm going to write, I'm going to create a new measure, black color sales, which is, and then total sales, because I have already total sales, which is a measure. So in this case, let's start with first product color equals to black. So let me drag in this table. And here you can see that. So this code is actually equivalent to this one, black color is all I'm just giving it a name so please don't mind and it is exactly working like so just hit the enter and now let me grab it over there so you would see both of these are equivalent they are giving you exactly the same results and this is the reason that the very first measure that I created black color says it was giving me values for each and every color the same value it is giving you the value for one particular filter that applied but is it is giving for all because it's ignoring all other filters that have been applied but what we can do now now suppose we just need value for this one particular color black that means I don't want two other values to appear over here like in other columns instead of in in case of blue it's again giving me the same same i don't want this i just want my total sales of black color and in front of that black color only so what i can do for that so for that we can use this key filter so how to use that there are two ways either we can use a values function over here values text function instead of all or we can use the key filter so let's try one by one let's say first with values that is i need to again copy this one now instead of all i'm going to use values click ok and close and now let's see how it is so you can see that clearly now it's not putting values in each and every cell so that's how we can get it and it's equivalent to the key filters that i already explained so why to use it well the semantic of the filters removes any existing filter applied to the same column replacing it with the new filter defined in the predicate condition if you do not want to lose the existing filter, we are going to replace with all with the values as I just showed you. So now let's use the key filters as well in this one and we'll see how it varies. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create again a new measure.
So if I'm gonna keep it over there, now you can see it's exactly working as a just calculated previous one. Once you specify over here key filters, so in this case it's also gonna keep other filters and the filter that you have applied. It's not gonna remove all the existing filter. Now there's one more thing. Whenever we apply key filter, so you should always know that the key filter functions this allows you to modify this behavior. That means the behavior of calculate function. When you use key filters, any existing filter in the current context are compared with the columns in the filter argument. And the intersection of those arguments is used as the context of evaluating the expression. That means, uh, suppose we have uh, two or more filters applied on the same column. In that case, the intersection of those filters is going to come out. So, how to check that? So, for that, we have to consider one more example where we have to apply more than one filter and then we'll see how it works. So, I have again the same table with my uh, one, two columns only right now in my table, which is color and sales. So, now we are going to see like how this uh, key filters works in different scenarios. I'm going to create a new measure. Now, in this case, what I'll say, I'm going to take an example. And now I have to apply my filters. So I have to apply first two filters that is in the or condition. So how can I apply those? Or I'll say blue and again close this. So here it's gonna say when my product color is black or blue, it's gonna give me the total values. So you can see that when my color is black or blue, my total sales is this. Now I'm just gonna check the sales for black one, which we already calculated. So let me check black one too and convert it into a card. It's 27.9 million. Let me place it over there. So please be with me because it's a bit longer example and you need to understand what is exactly the difference. First part we have already seen how actually the key filters work. But here I'm trying to make you understand how we can achieve the intersection of multiple filters when we apply over there. So another one I'm going to use the same but in this case what I'm going to do I'm going to just calculate uh, the another color as well with this one. So here I have black and blue but I'm also want to calculate the black and red. So here you observe we have three different cards with the three different values till now. And also right now our values are not matching. Three different values we are getting from these three different measures. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply simultaneously two filters in one calculation. That means this black or blue and black and red I'm going to apply in one measure. So how to achieve that? Now my first filter what uh, what it's saying it's going to calculate this one but on this calculate I'm going to apply one more calculation which is going to say calculate and in this calculate, I'm going to do one more calculation. So that means we are applying here two filters. So let's see what is the result of this one. So let me get it over there. So here 
if you have noticed that the total sales amount for black and blue and black blue or red is same now you are wondering how it is happening so let me recap you when we calculated for black or blue which is over here we just apply or filter over there and it was calculating correctly however when you apply multiple filters like in this case first you have calculate and then again you are calculating something so what it's doing it's overriding this context that means the outer calculate expression includes a filter for our black and red color so the default behavior of calculate overrides the outer filters that we have applied over here this is the reason that it's gonna give you the same value as the black or blue rather than it's gonna give you the values for black or red so always you have to be very careful while you are applying these filters now the last point that I really want to discuss that how can we use the key filters and how this intersection really works so I'm just gonna use this same and in this one I'm gonna mention you how to use that so for that I'm not gonna do much coding over here instead of that I'm just applying over here paste it over there and say key filters and here in this context I have to just say keep my these filters over here we have to say key filters and then we need to close the bracket let me one more and here we go so now it would check the intersection of the two filters between inner and outer one so we can clearly see that black is the common one so it should calculate the value exactly for the black color Here we go and you can see clearly it is calculating exactly the same value as for black color sales so guys whenever we are applying the key filters it modifies the default behavior of calculate and adds an additional filter because the intersection of filters is used and due to that now we have to get uh, the intersection of these two filters and over here the black color is a common one so that's how it's only going to calculate the value for this applied expression that means the total uh, sales for the black color product i hope you enjoyed today's video if you have any question concern you can ask us please don't forget to share your comments in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe our channel if you are over here for the first time mm -hmm.